Okay, Bedford Flats, Penderry. How do we get from the coast up to Bedford? So before my Namibia trip, a good, good friend of mine, James Hobson, and his family invited me out to their home farm, Penderry, in the Bedford Flats. It's a vast open space. The two farms total, I think, around 6,000 hectares. And they've got angoras, they've got sheep, and they've got cattle. So it was an awesome experience. I really love exploring new farms and new places. And to be able to spend time with the Hobson family was amazing. They were super welcoming, and I really felt a part of the family for those two or three days. And yeah, we had an awesome, awesome time there. Day one started off with Jamo and I on the Fish River farm in search of pretty much anything, really. Okay, yeah, um, I'm going to take a little walk along this cliff here. Got the wind behind us, and then yeah, see what's going to happen. We did, however, see something that is absolutely magnificent, and I really think that they're one of the best wild animals in Africa, and that's the lynx or the caracal. We saw a daylight lynx early in the morning, just before half past eight, and he was catching some morning sun on his way into the thicket for the day. Unfortunately, we couldn't get close to him. We just had the bows, he was about 300 meters away, and after trying a couple of mouth calls within 100 meters of him, no visual line, but you know, we knew he was there. We weren't able to find him and he, he carried on on his way. And yeah, we carried on walking, meandering through the, through the valley and you know, I had no luck, unfortunately. You know, we, we bumped a couple of pigs within 20 yards, but they, they were laying down in the midday heat and we never got to convert those pigs. So we went back for lunch and we met Tom Bouchon and Stuart White, affectionately known as Skoks and Thomas and yeah we had a bit of lunch got a bit of chow in the system before heading out for a fairly relaxed afternoon drive in search of springbuck they were gracious enough to let me have first turn on the rifle in the event of spotting a beautiful springbuck ram and we did so we drove along the main farm road pulled into one of the camps now these camps you must understand that they're vast you know they hundreds of hectares or low fence and these animals are completely free range so we took a walk crested over a bit of a ridge I mean there's not many ridges in the Bedford Flats it's called the Bedford Flats for a reason crested over a ridge covered by a couple of antiques and we got to within under 200 meters of a small group of springbuck noticed that one ram had a really unique skew horn and you guys would know me I really enjoy an atypical animal something that's completely different to you know the traditional perception of how an animal should be so one horn skew horn broken off horn no horns i enjoy all of them so when i had the opportunity for this ram i didn't waste any time got set up on an anti and at about 180 meters i'd say put in a decent shot he did turn a bit and yeah. i took the shot and hit him Fast. just in front of the shoulder exited mid body or behind the shoulder and yeah, he didn't go far at all. We overwalked him on our, you know, search to retrieve him because it's so flat there and there's so many antiques. Everything almost looks the same. And the boys, they were so, you know, they were so confident that I had made a terrible shot. And this thing had ran, you know, over into the next, into the next area. So on our way there, Skorks managed to clap a beautiful big boar, Wartog boar. Um, he dropped it with a 243 as well. And I said, listen chaps, I'm not mucking about. I trust that I made a great shot on that springback. 
you guys can bugger off and carry on looking if you want to, but I'm wasting no time and putting the drone in the air. No, I'm joking, don't need a drone. Chaps, this is FF Media Co. provides many services, mainly filmmaking, but another thing we do provide is animal recovery. And you know, within two or three minutes of the drone in flight, found that Springbuck laying probably a hundred meters from where I had hit him there with a 243. So yeah, perfect double lung shot and he didn't go far at all. My chaps found the ring back there. This is dead people. So that was super, super awesome, a really special animal and you know, an experience of a lifetime. So I would like to thank the Hobsons for the amazing experience. Day one in the Bedford Flats at Penderry was absolutely spectacular. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's the first day in the Bedford Flats, first day of the tour of the Eastern Cape and the first episode of Clap It, starting off here with a wonderful afternoon with James, Tom and Skorks. Managed to go in on this very, very unique Springbuck Ram. It's my first Springbuck Ram actually. It's a long time coming and to start off my springback journey with such a unique animal is an absolute privilege and a blessing. Just wanted to say thanks to the boys, it's been an awesome afternoon and I think we're going to have a good day tomorrow. Sets a good omen for, for the rest of the trip and yeah, little shot at probably just short of 180 with a 243 and he didn't go far at all. Squawk's got some nice pigs here as well so yeah, it's been a successful afternoon and we look forward to bringing you guys along the journey. I really do look forward to you guys seeing the next couple of episodes. We've got some spectacular kill shots and hunts with the rifle and the bow. It's a beautiful slow-mo coming up for you guys in the next episode or two. So keep an eye out. If you don't mind, like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Have a blessed week and we'll see you in the next one. Only a few pigs though. Unfortunately, we didn't get, we didn't come right there. And this afternoon, yeah, Tom and Skorks join us. <laughs> We're out here with Jamo, Skorks and Tom. <laughs> Jamo! <laughs> you have to scroll up behind. Have a good one, chaps.